Of course. They're still cool with Tonto BK. Of course. They're still cool with Yvonne Nelson. Of course. You know, back in that time when that news broke that things didn't work, Ghanaians were looking for you to chew raw. Yeah. What, what, what was the love relationship like between the two of you? None of you have denied it, though. Mm. Uh, but the description of you makes you come across like a very romantic gentleman. Of, of, of all the relationships she has described that she had, you are the most romantic. You, you had the most romantic accolades in that small chapter. You are really a toast. <laughs> you are really a toast. Oh my god, bro. No, 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 I'm picking you up. I mean, not. It was, it was a beautiful relationship. It was. Yeah. Let me see your wrist. Let me see your tattoo. What have you done with the YM? What is it? What? What is that tattoo? I don't understand. <laughs> Where, <laughs> what, what <that's laughs> Let me see your wrist. No, we're, that's, we're, that's, live, we're live on Facebook. That's, that's private information. Oh, bro. Privacy like, cannot, I, like, I can't show you. I can tell, we can talk about it. Pri about privacy it. cannot be on your wrist. I have, I have, um, uh, I have um, this wristwatch. It's, it's made in Ghana and I'm proud about it. Okay. Oh, nice. Shout out to Kim. It's good. Yeah, it's Kim, good. It's, got, it's got my name in there and I'm proud about it. And that's why it's on my wrist. So, yeah. so anything on your wrist cannot be private. Yeah. Can I see it? Can we see it? No, no, like on this show, did you, right? Did you tamper with it? No, I tamp. When you say tamper, what do you mean? Oh, people can just re remake a tattoo if they don't feel connected anymore to whatever they they, they inscribe on their. On their what do you do when the engine of your car gets bad? When it gets what bad? What do you do? You try to fix it, or you change it, right? <laughs> when it's totally broken down. Yes. Wow. So you fix the tattoo. I just change the engine. You fix the tattoo. I, I There's no more YN on your wrist. There's YN, YN in my heart. Oh wow, in your heart. Yeah, you know sometimes when you're younger, you, you, when you're younger, you think that's you know that's the best way to express you know what you feel, and then as you get older, you realize that it's more action, more, more responsibility, more maturity. You know? What was the intention? Now that things, I mean, it's over. I mean, it's over. Though you still hold and respect her in your heart. I will always do that. What was the intention? Clearly, I mean, boys, boys. Yeah. Was the intention targeted towards a forever relationship? Things go bad, I know. We all accept things do go bad. But what was what was Yaya's intention? The toast of the time. You're still you're still the man, man. What was the intention? Was the intention to go all out? Of course. Of course. The intention was to go all out. Of course. Course. In that book, mm. I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to paraphrase, but in that, in that book, that page, um, after all the sweet description mm -hmm. and how Yvonne said she wished it was going to continue because, I mean, you gave her the best breakfast in bed and all that, any woman would have wished that that should continue. But she, she at the point said, look, I had a good reason to finally confirm that I need to move on. If you and your tweet make it look like, I mean, I'm saying make it look like it wasn't entirely your fault. Did you try to make it work even after her claim of, you know, finding out and getting confirmation? I mean, to go to the extent of doing tattoos and all that, it meant that you, it meant so much to you. Did you yeah. try to make it work? Did you try to have a conversation? Uh, of course. Of course, well, you know, I got, like I said earlier, I, am, I said earlier in my first interview, Cause I, you know, I told you I don't want to talk about this. I know. Yeah, but you know. found a way to bring it back yeah. on board. I'm sorry. But, but I'll be honest with you, right? Yeah. That was a relationship that I put my soul was in. Like, I loved Yvonne. I don't hate her now, but obviously then we were in a relationship and I loved her. Well, I was I was younger than I am now. The things, you know, that I knew now, I don't you know, know back then. I just got famous. Uh, everything was happening. Everything was fresh, you know? Uh, obviously, when when you meet people in those kind of seasons, right? Those things happen, mm -hmm. and then if those if they can be patient enough to grow with you, then you you both see yourselves letting go certain things, certain habits, and you know people and characters just to be with each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it makes sense to you. So I, maybe if I met her now. You know, it would be better than the last time. What would you do differently? I understand mm -hmm. at the time fame was overwhelming. Of course. A lot of distractions. Of course. But you still manage a relationship long distance as between Ghana and Nigeria. Yeah, that's why I did the tattoo. Yes, we, we, we give you props uh, so far as that's concerned. Yeah. 
let's get back to all the distractions and what you would do differently today now that you're so used to fame yeah. you know how to control people around yeah. you what would you do differently if you guys were uh, to be again I, I, I just focus on how I feel like now like you said I'm at a point where I can control certain things to a certain level so I think I'll have more I'll focus more because then it was it, my, it was my career first I'll be very honest you know, every other thing every emotions everything came second I just got famous. I'm just a young guy, you know. All of a sudden, from where I'm, you know, from my place, I'm in Lagos. Everybody wants to see me here and there. Some free, some are free. There are times I had to lie. Yvonne would be in the room, and I'll lie and say, "I'm going out to get something." And I, I'm traveling. Literally, like I'm out, and then she just buzzes me like. <coughs> Don't tell me you're at the airport. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I had a team who was obviously like, you know, pushing me to keep, you know, going. We just got the fame. It's like, how do you tell your management, oh, your babe just came from Ghana, mm -hmm. so we can't do this show or we can't get on the road? And how do you now go back to your babe and say, babe, hey, look, I know you just arrived, but hey. I gotta go. So I, I had to do what I had to do, you know. And one of the reasons why I did the tattoo was my own way of saying, look, I know, you know, I'm not always there, but if this would just make you feel like wherever I go that I have a piece of you on me, then you should just be, you know, take, be patient with me. That was my own, you know. That is